What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got the Samsung Galaxy A55 and the question is, should you buy this phone? And spoiler alert, starting off from the very start, yes, you should consider buying this. Now here's the thing, while it's not available in the US directly from Samsung, you can still pick up an unlocked GSM only model on Amazon. And I picked mine up for around 430. This is the awesome blue in the eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage configuration. But there also is a configuration with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, as well as eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. So just do keep that in mind while you are watching this video. But here's the thing, this build and design, Samsung did a really good job coming from the A54. They improved the build quality, specifically the metal frame, which gives it a much more premium look and feel. And it also feels much better to hold in the hand. Not only that, the display is slightly larger. So that's also a plus. I think it's like 0.1 inches larger, but it still is a 6.6 .6 inch, really nice display, 120 hertz panel. Uh, the front facing camera doesn't have that white line around the camera cutout, so that's also a huge plus. And when you look at it from the back, the ind individual camera cutouts have like these camera rings, and that also gives a more premium feel. And not only that, like the camera quality itself is also really good, but Samsung did a really good job in the build quality with the Galaxy A55. I believe this is a first in the A50 series that has uh, like a metal aluminum frame around the sides. Uh, before that, it was always just like more of a plastic feel, uh, but it's, it's a really good build. Good job, Samsung. And also the upgraded performance. One of the flaws that I've seen personally with the A50 series was uh, the Exynos processor. And yes, this has the Exynos, I believe it's a 1480 chipset, but there's some really good improvements. And in my day-to-day -day use, it's been pretty smooth. I have had much less hiccups and stutters than I've had with previous ones like the A54 and especially the A53. That one was really bad uh, with hiccups and stutters. Like the 1280 chipset was really really bad but also the fact that this does have eight gigs of ram and you can pick up one with 12 gigs of ram that definitely does help out a lot uh, but if you're just gonna pick up this phone for just day-to-day -day use uh, just calling texting watching youtube videos here and there nothing too intensive this is a great phone and on top of that it does come equipped with a triple camera setup yeah it doesn't have like a telephoto lens but that is okay still has the wide and the ultra wide uh, like I said, day-to-day -day performance has been really good. Uh, I've been watching, for me, I, I usually use my phones for watching lots of YouTube videos and this does not disappoint. Uh, so yeah, with Samsung, I think listened uh, for at least with my complaints and my complaints with the A54 was the fact that the design is just not up on par, especially with the price you're paying for, 449 and the performance. Like we want more RAM, we want more storage, we want a better processor and yes they put all of that i still wish they went with the snapdragon like seven gen processor but that's completely okay because the exynos 1480 has definitely i've seen its improvements inside the a55 and i also wish that samsung did release this in the us but putting that aside here's the thing i feel like in the u.s market right now the a35 is going to replace what the a55 the A55 slot, really. And what you're getting in the A35 is so similar to the A54, and the A54 is still gonna be sold for like 449. Why not pick up a Galaxy A55 for for $30, 430 bucks? That's cheaper and it has those better improvements. Yes, it's gonna be unlocked in GSM only, but I think that's okay. I honestly think that is okay, and hopefully Samsung sooner or later one day does release this officially and sells it officially through like the in u.s markets but for now they're not but you can still pick one up from amazon like i i picked one up and um you can definitely tell it's it's not a u.s model but here's the thing when i picked it up it did come with a 25 watt power adapter just like right like they, they taped it right on top of the box. So that's a plus. They wouldn't do that if you were in the US. Uh, so it's good to know that they're still equipping it with a 25 watt power adapter uh, separately. Again though, I like the A55 much more and much substantial improvements that were needed 
in the A50 series. Uh, Samsung is listening. They did it with the S23 to the S24. They listen and put what is needed and not any like huge drastic changes. Good job, Samsung. I can't wait for what's next with the Galaxy A56, and I'm hoping that the A56, whenever it does come out next year, does release. But in the meantime, this is a good, good phone. Can easily recommend it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely be sure to superman the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. It will help push my content out to more people. And also definitely be sure to check the links in the description down below. I'll be leaving one for my latest wallpaper pack. It's called Urban Glow. I think you'll like it. I really do. But that's been it from me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.